Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you're visiting, my name is Jay. And today, what I'm going to show you are some variation presses for the six and eight, pressing one unit at a time. Now, this video is being made in response to a request made from one of the subscribers. On my channel, I did have a comment from an individual named Jack and this is what he said. He said, I was doing crafts for three months before all this COVID stuff and I'm so glad I found your channel. Well, thanks. I really appreciate that. Can you make a short video or an add-on to an end of a video on smoother ways to cut out a pill? Absolutely. I can do that for you, Jack. This yep. channel is, is the, right, I, right already in this channel is to share everything that we know knowledge-wise. Um, yeah. Passing it down to the next generation so that it's not lost. So, like I said, use these at your own discretion and let's get started. Everything that goes out to the player I place here, everything in the box I usually place over here. Now let's start with one unit to two units. Six dollars pays seven dollars, your normal press is to hand out the cap, like so. Then stack the rest with your inside hand. Now sometimes when you're paying out the bet, the player will ask for a press after and you've already gone down the line. When they do that, for a late press, I did show you in a previous tutorial to do a snap press, and that's a quick way to bring your bets together. Another way of doing this is the air shuffle. And again, there's a tutorial on how to do the air shuffle, but you take your uh, bets and you can shuffle them together, and you can also split them apart if you are splitting a six and eight, like so. Okay, now another technique for the one to two units is a throw press. Now, when you bring out your seven, create a platform with your left hand and you're going to throw the chips over, whether it be this way, okay, or this way. All right, so there's a few ways of doing a throw press. Hand out your cap and then stack your bets like so. All right, again, create your platform and then you can, you're able to throw your chips like that. Okay, so a nice throw press and that'll save you a little bit of time, especially if you're outnumbered on your side and the other side has less players, all right? Now, if you have time, another technique I'm going to show you is the shooting of chips. Now, when you're shooting chips, what I want you to do with this bet is roll your place bet, grab your seven, and you're going to shoot it in the direction of where the player is. In this instance, it's on the bend, but for the camera's sake, I'm going to show you this way, right? When I'm snapping my bet, I'm gonna shoot the chip out like so. Okay, let's put it on the six in this example. I'm gonna pay out my $7, roll that, and then I'm going to do a snap. So snap the chip underneath and shoot the chip out at the same time. And that goes straight out to the player and your bet becomes two units. Okay, so, when we talked about splitting of chips, again, remember you can do an air shuffle, okay, to split your six and eight. Um, another thing that I see dealers do is they actually take the outsides and they pull them out like so, okay? Again, use at your own discretion if you are allowed to. Now you can also do that with, um, when you're at four units, okay? Now to do that split here, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wrap your thumbs around like so, and then you can snap it out just like that. And now you have your split here on your six and eight. Okay, next one, two units to three units, $12 pays 14. Now the regular press, the common one is the take one, leave one, stack, okay? The other one is to leave one and take one, and then stack, okay? The throw press for this one is to take out 14, I'm going to break off a dollar, throw three across, and then take the place bet and leave a five, hand that out, and stack like so. Okay, so the other thing you can do is a drop. So you take out your 14, you can drop the three, okay? So when I do a drop, it's basically three dropping like so, take one and out. So 14, drop, three out. And now you have three units. Okay, three units to four units, 18 pays 21. The normal press is to stack the cap with the ones and up and around. Now to do this one, 
what you're going to do is you're going to grab your one and then you're going to use your thumb push down so that you grab your ones like that throw across and then hand out the 15 to the player so it looks like this okay and that's how you get to four units the other way to do it you take your 21 out you're going to snap throw across and go out like that okay okay 21 snap underneath go across and out the last one is 30 for two we're going from four units to five units your typical press is that nothing wrong with that one that's probably the best one that you should be doing the variation press is to take out 30 and you're going to take two and you're going to snap the stack underneath so it looks like this now you're going to cut and then go across there's your 22 two and your five units okay one more time four units to five units 30 for two snap cut up and across so i hope that helps you and i hope that you can use some of these in your game um, if you are allowed to again use it at your own discretion don't want to get you in trouble jack and anybody else watching i hope to be doing more of these there's going to be a lot of people contributing to these presses i'm going to show everyone that i can and all the different levels and whatnot so thank you very much guys for watching this video and i really hope that you like and subscribe if this is the first time you're watching and i hope to see you in the next video so take care.